All right, cool. We, we can need to sync up. Ready? I'll count to five, and you start after I say five. We're going <laughs> to sync up with each other. Yes. <laughs> yes. We have to. It's, 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 it's part of the law. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Cool. Did, you did six claps. I didn't. I didn't expect Dashi to actually sync up. I was putting, I was doing a bit with Fat Man. Oh, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh I didn't do it. I didn't say anything because I thought you were syncing up with Dashi. God damn it. This is a clusterfuck. It's all, am I the only Starting professional off here? Fresh, ladies and gentlemen. Am I the only one who cares about the rules? <laughs> the only one who cares about the goddamn rules. Yeah. There were no Cheers, memos man. handed. Cheers. Cheers to the memories. Yes. And to the show and to Dashi. I hope you're drinking something. I am, but it's not alcoholic. I'm just high on life, and that's all I need. Shame. And lots of narcotics, but that's, hey, that's another story. Hey, welcome back to... S- fuck. Hey, welcome back. Guess who? Oh, my God. You're right there. No. No, you're getting me all flustered because you're here, and, and it's British Ninja. Yeah. <laughs> He's here, guys. In the flesh. Mm-hmm. In the flesh. Look at the, that. It's not, the CGI not a trick. is very impressive. Not it's not a lie. trick. It's, yeah. it's, not, it's not weird editing that Fat Man's trying to the teach me. The green screen is very impressive. Mm-hmm. We're going to be reacting to episode six. No, I'm sorry. Episode nine. Oh, fuck. Fat Man, this is your I think part. we've seen episode six. We, I, think, I think we have. See, I, think I get them all have. wrong all the time. So, Fat Man, yeah. what is it? It's episode 19. Of season nine. Yeah, the last season. You couldn't. You couldn't keep me. I mean, I, I kept sending my emails to Fat Man saying, "Hey, can I come on the reactions? I, I'd love to begging, be begging, you, begging, pleading, pleading." And, oh. then, and then he showed up in my house, um, on his doorstep, on my knees, uh, oh, okay. pouring gasoline on on the on the porch, and he had a lighter. And I'm like, "Hey, the fuck, you doing? We're about to record uh-huh. a reaction. Get in here." Yeah, like, <laughs> you, you that's exactly how it happened. You should have rang the doorbell. Like it's been four weeks. Like you can't sit out here. But have you eaten? You see, Britain, we don't have doorbells. We just have servants that wait outside. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's funny. They just, they just shout ding dong very yeah, loud. Ding dong! <laughs> <It's> <laughs> Me and Fat Man Falling are drinking white Russians. White Russians? Uh, in-, in honor of the Big Lebowski. Yes. Hmm. What, if, what if the character shows up in the episode? <laughs> what if they're you just think, in the bathroom? You think they're going to just do that last In the background, last not the bathroom. <laughs> in, 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 like, honor of episode 100. <laughs> Well, they showed up. What if one? Of, yeah, if one of these episodes is just a throwback to 100, that'd be. Oh no, they just they just have like DHX is just like look, we have like 500 background characters that we haven't used yet. Let's just throw them <laughs> right? in there. It worked with the Celestia song. Let's just do it again. Yes. Yeah. Let's do it. So All what right. what is the name of this episode that we will be watching today? Oh, sure. Is this the intro? Are we are we done the intro? Oh no, this is this is all the intro. Oh, okay. Hello, welcome, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> no, your eyes do not deceive you. This is not special effects. I am Fat Man Falling, and this is my co-host, British Ninja. Yes. Uh, Oi! <laughs> Oi! Oi! He's not even like that kind of English. <laughs> what the Oi. hell? <laughs> I do love soup, and are totally in the closet. <laughs> Oh, uh, boy, God, God save the queen and all that. Oh, cheeky wanker. <laughs> uh, Raymond, Tom, if you're watching this, where the hell are you, man? Yeah, you should be we, here. We sent you an email to be here today. Dude, it's all, so it's we all Fat all... Man's fault. He started them at the wrong episode. <sighs> he started them just I... for the memes and just ruined them for life. No ponies for them, <laughs> like, I'll tell you what. We uh, sent out we sent out an email for Furbert Khan, uh, Frost, it's our team, Team Frostbite, for Frostbite Khan, uh, and I think you misspelled one of the letters, so no one showed up. No one showed up. Yeah. No, nope. no one. And now we drink to live our problems no, no, down. No Cheers. Salud. With your white Russians. Cheers. Happy happy season nine, everybody. Yes. yes. Happy Let, last let's, pony. Let's, let's finish off the show in style. Yes. Amen. Are you guys all ready finish for countdown? So we should be China. In, in super sync. Yes. Yes. All right, guys, here we go. British Americans, here we go. Three, two, one, play. Here we go. All righty. Right. Spike and Rarity episode. Spike and Rarity. My two favorite characters. Are you in here? <laughs> so, Hi. it's season nine. Uh oh, you got a girlfriend. Are they going to do it? Yeah, right. Are they going to drop, are they going to jump the fence and answer once and for all? I did on a quick trip to the gem cave. Are they... He's writing in fanfic. Spike is... A smut. <laughs> Spike is done with your shit. Yeah, he really is. You, you toiled him around for like, what has it been, like yeah, nine right? years? Oh my god, imagine he was like, I'm doing... Look, look at how like flirty she's being, and he's just like, the fuck is up with you? Huh. Damn. Who is... Spike! What is he writing? Is he high? Huh. No, is he he's high? fine. It's a fanfiction. Who's this Spike? It's uh, almost as if you haven't been listening. 
Oh, uh... Is he, uh... Is he got a date? Is that gonna make Verity jealous? Does, does he? Probably. Jesus Christ. That'd be great. I mean... Smolder and Spike? Oh. Oh, no! Hmm, not sure. Is that the time? No. He's got a date. He might have a date. date. He might have a date. Of course you're right. This is a bit of a late start, and those gems won't pick Smolder? themselves. Uh-huh. I mean, they have to think of something, because Spike and Rarity would never work. Mm-hmm. Like, it's an actual adult and an actual child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But they live longer, but who knows? What was that again? Damn, he really... Woof. Damn, he dude. Is doing You've something. been blanked. <laughs> How does it feel? Yeah, right? <laughs> it's been like eight years. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, he really... He's gone! He yeah. Dude, Get what is going on? Wow. He's getting some uh, some dragon poon somewhere, I don't know. What the heck? He's, yeah. Like oh, the these are the magic way. symbols in... Uh, in the, yeah, the, the, those symbols, they translate to perfect Magic legal. is friendship, yes. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bought legitimately. Legitimate, legitimacy of yeah. download is... <laughs> friendship. <laughs> yeah. Man, it's... It, I'm gonna miss this theme. I think I will too. I'll miss this theme. Oh. Like, do you think Volume Five is gonna have a better theme? No. No. No, this is too iconic. Uh. All right. Developed by Lauren Faust, Mentor at Brodycon. lovely woman. Wow, awesome. Yeah. The Spike has never turned down an opportunity to join me here. Hmm. Oh. Are, is she just too used to having Spike? Yeah. <laughs> she's just chucking these. Yeah, she's had too used to having a dragon dropped. Yeah. Literally. Too used to having a slave. Yeah. Somebody Who's with him now, then? Who's that? Was it, like, the cat? Who's that? Is it the cat? <laughs> is it no. the cat? Is it, is, it, is it the diamond dogs? <laughs> oh my god. That would be, be fucking watch hilarious. Watch Jack. Watch, be, watch, watch them say Rari. <gasps> yes! Oh, it's, oh, it's Applejack. It's Applejack. Say, say Rari Jack. <laughs> say Rari Jack? <laughs> I know, oh. that, that's, like, the one I'm missing. And how's wow. That? Oh, shit. Wow. Is this the episode where Rarity realizes she has treated him like ass the past, like, seven years? Or, like, three years in canon? Oh, man. So no gem ever touches the ground. <gasps> yes, show show her how how she gets pulled closely. Oh, she jealous. And in case oh, you hadn't yeah. noticed, I ain't Spike! Damn. As much as the shippers would decry. <laughs> <laughs> What's Spike up to? Oh no, it must be something big though. No, nice. Besides my main My unpaid servant isn't here. <laughs> Spike isn't here. I think he's at the post office. Again? Why does he need the post office? There probably was a problem at the post office or something. He can he can send letters anywhere. Why Sometimes the post office? The scribble addresses too is sloppy it when I Oh my god. Oh god, is it? That'd be terrible. Uh, <laughs> would they fucking do that? Oh man! But I think I'd remember if we had an argument. Maybe you didn't. You it's not him. even like he said no. She got straight up blacked. Yeah, mm-hmm. didn't mm-hmm. exist on the radar. Yeah, wasn't even, wasn't even real. Right. I wonder if that's. It. it better be a good reason because that's so out of character. I must apologize. For what? Oh, that's hardly the point. Hmm. Jesus. <laughs> <Rarity. Half laughs> Classic that, that last. Rarity rap. I will apologize. I don't know what for, but I'll apologize. <laughs> that's pretty that's pretty typical British behavior, actually. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm not sure what's going on, I'll just say sorry. Don't hey, that's the worst. Hey. Uh, Wait, who that? Um Whoa. Gabby. It's Darby just closed <laughs> down <laughs> closed down shop. Hey Gabby, what you doing? I'm the official mail carrier of Griffinstone. A... Gabby Griffin. Nice to meet you. Interest? Is Spike with a Griffin? Hmm. No. <laughs> I mean, post up. Okay. For apologizing to Spike. Oh, Spike was just here. He went to go make us. His... That's perfect. It'll give me a chance to practice <sighs> and tell me if I hit the right apologetic notes. This is hidden like um. What do I say? Uh, you know, in season one, the first Pinky episode. Oh, not the first. The first good one. One where she goes insane. Yeah. Oh yeah, that one. The one where the readers don't quite know what's going on. Uh huh. Yeah. Or well, the Watchers, I oh, should say. Go. <laughs> this reminded me of that, because we have no idea what the hell's going on here. <laughs> we can assume. Holding up the radio. <laughs> Even though... Tabitha is... Tabitha knows it's the last season. Uh-huh. <laughs> She's given it 100%. I said, that sure sounds genuine. Well, of course it sounds <laughs> genuine. That, that uh, comic up there, that's a replica of the original Superman comic. Oh, nice. I'm working on my Two ice cream. creams? Uh, oh, yeah, it's her. I don't know how um, I could be more genuine. I don't think it's for her. I think it's for Gabby. 
I don't know if it's for Gabby. If it is, then I 100% ship that, because Gabby's awesome. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what I do, but why? You're mad at me! Just please! My boy joining the dating scene. <laughs> Just say no. Bitch, you're crazy. What are you apologizing for? <laughs> why does every pony keep hopping on that? Wait. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. <laughs> I want ice cream now. Uh, because I had other plans? Yeah. Oh my god, it is with her. Holy shit. <gasps> she put a tail around him. She put a tail around him. This got him. real. All of a sudden, Rarity just had like eight seasons worth of Vietnam flashbacks. <laughs> <laughs> you what? You two know each other? Gabby and I are sort of pimp They're house. friends. There was this whole thing where I pretended to get a cutie mark because yeah. memories don't get cutie marks. So Princess Twilight had spikes and a bunch of... Friends. Huh. So how, how generous is the element of generosity going to be? About keeping her man. Um, oh, not at no, all. No, no way. This no is going to go horribly wrong. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh -huh. Th there wouldn't be an episode if she was. Oh, yeah, they're both, they're both. I guess they're both male people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. This is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love this so much. The face. I have waited so many years for this. Uh -huh. oh, nine whole years. I know how you love to pick out the colors. I did my waiting. Nine whole years of it. <laughs> Gabby's here all the time. He's rejecting oh. her left and right. Oh, oh my Gabby god. For a lot of updates about how Gallus is doing. <sighs> Speaking of what Oh, are they going to have Gallus in this episode? I'm sure Spike and I can do something some other. And they li Yeah. Oh, they didn't even let her finish. Dude, <laughs> that's what Spike did before, oh. too. Oh, that, that was... Okay, that one was a little uncool. Hmm. A little bit rude, sure. Yeah. <laughs> this is literally and what you Spike's do. I love this episode because it reminds me why Spike was so useful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's my favorite everyone. character, so I love all of this. <laughs> These faces are awesome. Oh, this is like that episode She's of Always so Sunny chilly. where the waitress tells Charlie to fuck off and then her montage. life falls to pieces. Montage. Oh. Oh, montage. Jesus Christ. Oh, it's, it's a and flashback, it's a flashback montage. Flashback montage. <gasps> Double points, bonus round, baby. <laughs> My face when your gay friend is no longer around. <laughs> <laughs> your, that face when your gay friend was actually your straight friend. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I will. My favorite joke in the show goes back to like season four. It's like, how will you ever know what it feels like to be totally in love with someone when they have no idea who you are? And he just gives this most deadpan stare at the camera. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> they're besties. Oh, they're touching cheeks. <laughs> they're besties. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna turn into a fucking baby. Oh, watching this. <laughs> you go nuts. I want all the rest of the episodes to be about this. My son. My son has mm, grown up. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Spike. Yeah, looking back. Oh. Damn, right. She really did treat him like a piece yeah. of garbage, didn't she? Oh, of course. Oh, yeah. Of course. And he just took it. Yeah, he's now in a healthy relationship. <laughs> yeah. And I can't wait for Rarity to poison oh, it and ruin it. <laughs> I mean, it's friendship, oh. though, right? We're still wearing friendship, or what? <clears throat> oh yeah, they're friends. Okay. These are, th friends. Th this is the friendliest thing I've ever seen. Okay. This is friends. <laughs> they're friends. Totally. <laughs> you have a oh. cat. You'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. You can be the crazy old cat lady. Perfect. Can I just say, all of you Stacys out there, when you treat us gamers like this. <laughs> For so long <laughs> oppressing us, this is what you get. I mean, um, <laughs> you get ghosted. No comment. Yeah. She is getting ghosted. It's amazing. Yeah. Who that? Oh, it's shy. Oh. It's a flutter butter 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 butter. I'm just accustomed to the help of a small, highly attentive dragon. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe you should let Spike know how grateful you are for everything he's done for you. And not just a peck on the cheek. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Princess Peach puts out more than you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh. Is it, is it a, ra a rabbit? In Actual murder. Yeah. Yes. Rarity, what are you doing here? That wasn't the horn on her head, guys. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> <laughs> And I thought a little day trip would make a wonderful thank you for all the help you've she given me over the just broke years. in the castle. Supposed to meet Gabby today for her round. She ain't moving from that bed. Huh. There's always next year. 
Oh. I'll just write a note. Are you sure? Absolutely. Yeah, she can come along. What did I tell you? Hey, Spike. Gabby. Wasn't there? Wasn't there a Discord episode? Was it the one with the smooths where like Flut he got super jealous because like uh, yeah. Fluttershy had her weed friend? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I get back to Griffinstone, but you have to tell me <laughs> all about the crevasse tomorrow. Rarity's acting like quiet, crazy, not like crazy, crazy. Thanks again, Rarity. Yeah. Great day. Well, Rarity, it, this is the classic. You don't know how good you got it until you lost it. Yeah. Hmm, she broke into the palace. Because the air's too thin to. Fly. You know what? I take it back. She is a Mary Sue Amazing. because she got whoa, the main whoa, whoa, character. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Spike is the best character of the show. <laughs> Changed my mind. <laughs> you, Gabby, you have to apologize. We just acquired these. Whoa. Passes to power pony palooza. Nice. Today. Man, got him Comic Con tickets. These are these faces. I want Gabby to like pull her aside and say like, "You want to fucking fight? <laughs> you want to fucking yeah. throw down?" I'm the nicest Griffin, but I'm still a Griffin. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> I will fuck your shit. That's Don't great, cut me, bitch. <laughs> you have to go, and now you'll have two things to tell me about. Oh, oh. you see, look at how great Gabby's taking like, this. Yeah. Okay. Like a, like an amazing. Oh, no, oh. no, she. Oh. Oh. I, I love her for so that. much. I'm okay with this shit. <sighs> I'm okay with the ship. Yeah. No oh my god, her cosplay! <laughs> yeah, the maniac. Of course Rarity would cosplay. I love it. Of course. Yeah, she would. I know I told Gabby we'd hang out tomorrow, but I might need the whole day to rest. Got that con crud, buddy? Perhaps you could uh, just send her another note. This is toxic as fuck? Hmm. <laughs> uh. Yeah, you get that hug, buddy. Yeah. You milk it dry, <laughs> whatever it's worth. Uh. I hadn't counted on Hire, oh. the bags. Quite so draining. And she's back. No, the bags under her eyes. She's losing it. Oh. Yo, that's Dungeons and Dragons. Oh. <laughs> oh, it yes? Hell yeah. <laughs> Dude, get Gabby in on the campaign. Yeah, seriously. I don't think that's the plan, though. Rarity and D&D. &D. I, I don't should, think that's going to happen, but that's what should happen. Rara D&D. Rarity. <laughs> Ah, Is she gonna nice. catch them playing and. Oh, yeah. And she's gonna catch them. And get all upset. Doing. Doing the doing doing the do, and by the yeah. do, yeah. I mean the game. daring do. Use her shield of the to defend herself. I mean, hey, D and D is only better with more players. It's a shmerity. That's true. <laughs> I mean, he said he was tired. I mean, he's still home <gasps> though. You're cheating on me. Oh. You're playing D and D with her. Oh. Huh. You were just too tired to do anything so, with So, this me. is all an allegory for a relationship, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And misunderstandings and all Obviously. that shit. Obviously. Like, he just got caught cheating. Yeah. He did. He, he did. But not really cheating, but, like, in, in a compromising, oh. like, situation. Oh, this is this is the child's first cheating. Oh. <laughs> and she's not even... She didn't even look up... Yo, she is... Huh. A rarity she is toxic as hell. Yeah, uh, I don't know. This, this is the last rarity episode, boys. Oh, uh, this... Mm, <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Rarity, we gotta talk. <laughs> Rarity. I can no longer be your side hoe. <laughs> See, he's yeah, already she's got not caring back to at work. all. Like oh. it, he's sad as fuck. What? <laughs> mm. Oh my god. I hope you're able to reconcile with Gabby. S Spike. Oh, Gabby. Spike. Go. Hey, l uh, littering. Oh, hello. Oh my god. The element of generosity, everybody. Oh. Yeah. Another. Oh. Another. Another. Yeah, but it's comparative. Yeah. Uh, okay. All See, right, he's right. got concrud. He can't tell the difference. <laughs> uh, Rarity doesn't even. She doesn't even like. Look, it's all in character. I get this. Mm -hmm. I get yeah. this hundred percent. She's she's been used to this. Oh, hey, she noticed. For like, she noticed just now. Months. Yeah. Okay, she's at least noticing. All right, well, she's starting something. The spike. Yeah. Hi, Spike. <laughs> <laughs> Twilight, <laughs> Twilight has to take out her own garbage. There's, there's trash on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> trash on the face. You know, I always thought it'd be these two fighting over Spike. Not not like in a romantic way, but like right. Spike has to help Twilight or have to help Rarity, you know, that uh, choice. Because uh, it's it's mom versus the girlfriend, right? Uh, it took everything I had to convince him to spend any time with me. There it is. <laughs> Being crystal gem crevasses, power pony conventions, and a marathon game of oh and no. She I'm bought him off. Yes, yeah, she did. <laughs> yeah. look, look at Twilight. Sounds like you made sure he didn't have any time to spend with Gabby at all. 
What? Oh, okay. Yeah. Twilight. Twilight. Twilight's mm-hmm. on Thought Patrol. Excellent. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Look at that face. Uh. <laughs> Ooh, bitch! You hoeing around, yeah. hoes mad. <laughs> this is hoes mad. The episode. <laughs> hoes mad. Friendships change. Rarity, you're my friend, so I say this with the utmost respect. But be gone, thought. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get out. Now I have to share him. Which oh. I uh. suppose I'll have to get used to. Element of generosity, everybody. Yeah. Generosity. Mm. Good talk. She left. Wait, she left her own couch? She it's... left her Wait, with two couches. How did she have to right, she, she, did she, she did the thing! She did the thing! She did the thing! Yeah, that was really good. Yeah. <laughs> is all this stuff on the bike again? Ah, uh, she has the D&D thing. I am here. Is it for her? To apologize, actually. More to confess. <gasps> it's the evidence against me! Oh, okay. I like your dice. I don't understand. These are the You're being creepy. Repent, sister. Rarity? Girl, are you jealous? Oh. Uh, Even if you can't forgive me, you simply must forgive me. This is great. Oh. This is... I mean, Rarity's <laughs> toxic as hell. Yeah, so, but at I'm least glad. she kind of gets it. The episode like, is clearly portraying Rarity in the wrong, which is excellent. Yeah. If at all... They hinted that Rarity was okay and doing this. Well, that would be the like worst thing ever. Back. Yeah. But Rarity is, is on, like, she knows, and she said. Yeah. She fucked up. After not hanging out with you, I understand why. You're kind of <laughs> awesome! Hell yeah! <laughs> Spike fans, uh, this one's for you, buddy, so... We could start hanging out again? Absolutely. I don't suppose you... Threesome! <laughs> Yeah, he. <laughs> make everyone happy. Just make it a threesome. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> threesome. Oh, 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 and, and they're oh. gone. Reconciled. Uh, that didn't hurt. I would have still <laughs> hurt. I mean, look, they could never have Spike and Rarity be an actual. Thing. Yeah, but to leave like that is rude. She was rude. Yeah, I think Spike was completely in the right in that one. Who does she has now? Who does she has now? I think he should be good at this. Sorry. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> How wonderful to see you! What a nice conclusion to their story arc. Yeah, yeah. Gabby and I had a great day, but I'll always still want. In a nice and safe polyamorous relationship. <laughs> Get Amber and Thorax in. Make it a nice five way. No. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh, changeling. Of course, leave it up to you to say that. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. All right. I get it. Changelings would be great porn stars. Uh, They would. That's true. Uh, Okay. You know, for kids. (laughs) (laughs) For kids. (laughs) It'll be hentai. It'll be hentai. Right. So that episode was great. (laughs) Had a great message about recognizing own toxic behavior. Mm -hmm. Had a great message about, um, uh, you know, being jealous, but being jealous is okay. You know, we learned that in the What About Discord and whatnot, best episode of the show. Um, my god, I'm so happy. I've always wanted an episode where it's the, the whole Spike rarity dynamic is flipped on its head. Because that's been so like, like one of the more consistent things, right? You know, like mm-hmm. Spike would always be pretty much Rarity's slave. I mean, mm-hmm. she treated him all right throughout most of the show. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, gave him the pineapple and, you know, it was like a little well, kid brother, yeah. right? Uh, well. I like... I like that they kind of addressed the whole Spike is no longer into Rarity that way kind of thing. Yeah. That was always, that was always a, how do I say, a uh, a weird point of the show throughout all of the seasons. It's like, okay, you have this character that is coded as a child. This is a baby dragon. Yeah. And uh, this very much adult horse. And uh, yeah, so I'm very glad that they finally addressed... That's not their situation right now. Mm-hmm. And who knows? I, I think that Rarity, uh, not Rarity, uh, Gabby and uh, Spike make a make a fine couple. Because yeah. Gabby's not, I, I mean, she's not Gilda's age, I don't think. I think she's way younger than Gilda. Yeah, she seems very way younger. She seems quite young. Maybe a little older than Gallus, I don't know. Mm. I mean, she has a job. She does have a job, that's true. Yeah. Hmm, I don't know. But hey, it, it's it's a show of cartoon yeah. horses and whatnot, and they're friends. Remember mm. that, artists? They're friends. Yeah. Friends. Yeah. Nothing more. <laughs> just about they to say, just, like, I, they I just lick the same it, ice cream. But I appreciate, <laughs> I appreciate the the friendship, you know, version of all this. I mean, like, are I mean, there any other kid characters that would work with Spike? 
like on that level. Because, no. you know, a lot of people originally thought, oh, yeah, it's like the CMC. They have, like, a Kid Crush episode or something like that. I was mm. like, I mean, I, a lot of people ship Sweetie Belle and Spike. But I'm like, that's, no. That's Sweetie Belle and, and, and Spike? People, yeah, well, like, you know, know there's, only, there's only a few select number of children that are coded as, like, young kids. Okay. I don't like, think Spike's coded that. as a young kid. He's not anymore. anymore. He's not, not anymore. anymore. Definitely he, not anymore. The maturity-wise, he is coded as, like, a young adult. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, he's at least 16, 17, Spike. At least mm-hmm. that's how he's coded. Mm-hmm. However, the show does go out of his way to say that he is a baby dragon. They haven't said that in a while. I, I don't know, like... I think... Yeah. Well, that's true. well but he had the mole. Yeah, so he's, he's now like, a he's now a yeah. pubescent pubescent dragon, young teen. Definitely, yeah. Teen. So well, the, I mean, he's there with maybe pro- the young six, at least proportionally. Yeah. You know, like he's up there I, with the young six. So I don't know, yeah. like because I uh, smolder maybe. I think smolder is older. Small smolder. She's smolder. She's smolder. 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 Tip um, tip. The I think that that's the closest you'll ever get to a ship of Spike is Smolder and Spike. Unless the finale is just. Yeah. It's just one giant Spike episode. <laughs> <laughs> the bad. They don't, even, spike they don't even reference the bad guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't talk about the bad guys. It's just a long Spike episode. There's like a post credit sequence you. where Chrysalis falls down the stairs and dies. Breaks her neck. <laughs> yeah. That's excellent. <laughs> She can't um, break her neck. Her, yeah. her, her neck turns. Like th- remember that one episode? It just went. Oh, that's true. Oh, her but it can still fall off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that episode was wonderful. I yeah. liked it a lot. Very I nice. That was very cool. Good. I like it. Very, very good. cash money. I, I uh, love. I am completely fine with that being. Like loved how it was like, bitch. Who are you? Right now, I, I am so so I'm, like in this letter right now. You don't even know. Like oh, I'm you're in here. I'm happy with that being the final spike and rarity episode. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We couldn't, we couldn't Rarity ask for a, a better message. One. Spike got his sort of character arc concluded, where he doesn't need Rarity anymore. He has other friends. He has other hobbies like D anD D, like Comic Con and whatnot. Uh, <laughs> you know, I was talking earlier that like Trixie was the most developed character, at least in terms of change. Uh, but I think Spike is honestly the most biggest jump from the beginning to the end. I don't, I don't, I don't agree. I don't agree because in the first three seasons, one of them, Spike was kind of inconsistent in terms of like sometimes he was the voice of reason and sometimes he was like a little kid, a little kid. He, so he was a little kid who grew up with Twilight, which I, means that he has had experience dealing with Twilighting. Yeah. So I think <laughs> Spike is the character who like found his footing the best. Yeah. But he's not. But I don't think he's necessarily the most developed. Like I because would, even as early as like season four, he had that. Like season four like, was a bad season for Spike. Season yeah. four was the season where they like really went hard on making Spike the absolute comic relief, just punish him constantly. Power ponies, yeah, power ponies. You had Castlemania as well. You also had the classic, oh, the best joke in the show. I'll admit it, the best joke in the show. But the one was like, "Oh, Spike, you'll never know, you know how what it feels like oh, to love yeah, somebody yeah. without loving somebody else." That yeah, was that yeah. entire episode was a massive. Cuck Spike episode. Yes. Yeah, it was. Oh my god, yeah. yeah. But my lord, it was the best joke in the show. Yeah. <laughs> just, just the way he deadpan stared toward the camera. Mm-hmm. Great. Spike was always the voice of reason in Twilight episodes. Because it like the people who know how to deal with Twilight, it's a yeah. short list. The people who know how to deal with Twilight properly is Celestia, Spike, and Discord. Yeah. That's, that's one of the reasons. Maybe why. Starlight now. It's one of the reasons why I wanted to see Twilight's mom more. Because remember the Once Upon a Zeppelin episode? That's true, with yeah. Twilight's, like, parents? Like, that's one of the reasons I wanted to see them more. But they never really got to do anything besides exist in, like, two episodes. Yeah. But when it wasn't with Twilight, when it was, like, disc- my my favorite Spike episode, this is going to sound crazy, aside from the, the Goblet of Fire, I really like the idea of Dragon Quest. There, there were so many great questions raised in that. It was like, okay, who the hell is my dad? What the hell am I supposed to act like? I'm a dragon. I'm meant to eat you people mm-hmm. and collect treasure. And there was an episode, yeah. the worst Spike episode, is the one where they force him not to grow up. Like, he grows up into this super tyrant dragon. And then they say, no, no, we don't like you that way, so we're going to force you to sort of shrink down back into your regular self. Yeah, they pulled some stuff, like... The dragon, that's that that's the dragon greed. greed. That's not like dragon aging, but that's dragon nature. Yeah, 
you know, you have the whole nature versus nurture debate. And obviously, Spike has been raised differently mm -hmm. than, say, you know, Garble. Um, but that was part of dragon nature. You, you grow to the size when you collect enough of your horde. That's how you become a big fuck-off dragon. Yeah. <laughs> and they just said, nah, we, we don't... We don't really like you like that, so uh, we're just gonna deny your name. It's it's like neutering your pet, you know. It's it's forcing them into this specific way. And granted, he, he was convinced that that was for the best and whatnot. But weird take. That was a that was a horrible sh episode. <laughs> but this was a good one. I, I still stand by what I said about like that was rude. And you said, well, she was rude. I'm like, well, two wrongs don't make a right. Like, it was still rude. Like, he, you True. know what it reminded me of, Fat Man? It was the hug that he was denied. Oh, God. That's what it reminded me of. I, that hug in Twilight For some reason, 7. it was just like a, that little yeah. oof. But, yeah, it could have it been handled better. Those 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 two times. But, yeah. Okay. But yeah, I, right. get, I get that she was a biatch. Believe me. But, You're correct that no two wrongs not, make a right. But it's not. Uh, Spike is too sweet to be like that. But I guess he was really like into this relationship. So yeah, honestly, there you go. I feel I feel like Rarity earned those two moments where Spike just blanked her because I think that that's a perfect trade off for the many seasons where she has just blanked him. Mm. Like she, so, I mean, okay, let's let's talk deeper about Spike and Rarity's relationship here. They obviously enjoy each other's company. You know, Rarity mm -hmm. likes having him around. Not just because he's useful, but because he's also, you know, good taste, uh, awesome. uh, you know, c kind and considerate, and mm -hmm. obviously has a lot of unique skills that he brings to her challenges in life. Mm -hmm. uh, so they're great friends. Um, but let's be frank here. Like, Rarity has always seen this as, well, you know what, you, this, this love, this crush that you have on me, that benefits me. Yeah. Uh, you know, you, you being, having a crush on me actively gets me what I want, and so she has always been... Well, not always, perhaps, but th there's always been those scenes where it's kind of like Rarity's using him, and uh, that's that's never really gelled right with people. But that's uh, fine. What I'm trying to say is, like, that's fine. You know, I get I get what you're saying. Yeah, she deserve all that because we're we're the outside looking in. But like, as far as Spike himself, it was not like for him to do that for some reason. Gabby, I don't know her that well, but for him to just be like, yeah, peace and like really peace instead of like peace and then come back and be like hug and then peace that's a spike right there i, I get that i could yeah. see that it was potentially out of character yeah i, I always i saw oh, it, i saw like, it as rarity having <laughs> like she is forcing herself oh no 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 i see it as rarity having to get used to the fact that she is not as important as she thinks she is to him anymore yeah for the mm -hmm. second one i feel like the first one was perfectly understandable mm -hmm. i get i get what people are like upset about the second one yeah, the second one was a little like, ooh, well, okay. <laughs> that just right. happened. Right. Do you and know that was, that was how, me okay. more towards Spike, like I was saying. Like, we, us, we were like, hell yeah, get the fuck out of here, Rarity. This episode like, hasn't come out in the US yet. There's going to be a lot of Spike and uh, Gabby port, isn't there? Uh, there probably is going to be. <laughs> there's uh, there's going to be a lot of port. Safe search on, people. Safe search on. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember. Uh, I had to figure out what you said, but I think I got it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I think we're all set. Anything else uh, you want to say about the uh, this last rarity Spike I episode? Man, it, feel, it feels strange, because I feel like I've got so much to say on Spike Good, as a I mean, yeah, I mean, um, that's your favorite character, dude. This is like one of the last Spike episodes. It, this is my favorite character. Well mm -hmm. documented. Not everyone's favorite. I know a lot of people just hate Spike. Uh, and they're wrong. All of them. All of them. <laughs> yes. I love the little references that were going on, like the comics. Uh, you had the original Superman comic and the Watchmen comic that I saw in there. D&D, mm -hmm. uh, obviously, huge nerd. Oh, yeah. Oh, single Spike, has, Spike has always represented the male audience in the show, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I disagree... I, I, I feel like the male audience. I, I feel like this show kind of like didn't force okay. you to identify with the other male characters sure. like Big okay. Mac and Spike. Okay, so here's my take on it. Spike, if this show is for little girls with little girls to identify with, Spike is the character for the little boys. Obviously. Like he's the young boy kid. He, he goes through some boy issues, like trying to figure out who the hell he is in the world. Yeah. And uh, where his place is, and going through early crushes and whatnot. These are issues that young boys face and whatnot. Uh, not, not that young girls don't face that, obviously. But, of course, there are so many other characters for girls to get attached to. Yeah. Uh, and that's obviously not to say that a girl cannot get attached and relate to Spike's situation as much as, heck, 
20 twenty thousand bronies get attached to all the other characters yeah, really, really. in those situations. Mm-hmm. But I always thought, felt that Spike was a great character. An underappreciated one, maybe, by both the fandom and the mm-hmm. show. Mm-hmm. Uh, as the perfect avenue to explore these more um, masculine issues. Mm-hmm. Uh, Big Mac kind of touches on a few of them, but Big Mac has always been the stone cold. Yep. Mm-hmm. Nope. Well, I don't. I wouldn't call him stone cold, but I would just call him, like, direct. Yeah. Like Brother Hoop Social was great, obviously. They got to talk in yeah. that episode. Yeah. <laughs> he he doesn't get he doesn't get to talk. He he tries to like he tries to express himself as efficiently as possible. Mm. And most of the time that's just yeah, I think no. I think Spike and main, may, maybe Rainbow Dash have been the main sort of tomboyish characters for mm-hmm. people to get attached to. Yeah. yeah. And I appreciate Spike a lot. I, I yeah, I'm not going to bother going on a long rant about that. I'll save that for a video or something. But yes, okay. easily favorite character of the show. Glad that this episode did him justice. He's now a mature boy getting that Ooh. puss. Uh, <laughs> no, delete that. He's now a mature boy understanding that Freaking rarity two, isn't two minutes everything ago, you're in like, life. Artist friends. And now you're like, getting that puss. <laughs> nice. No hypocrisy yeah. here. Uh, hypocrisy is my middle name. <laughs> But yeah, I think that's all I have to say on it. Okay, safe search on low. (laughs) Great, great final Spike episode. (laughs) In fact, I think that was a perfect final Spike episode, because that was most of his character arc from the beginning. Uh The first first major bit of Spike, aside from having to deal with Twilight, was Spike had a massive crush on Rarity. The moment he saw her, it was like a childhood crush. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, they did it. So any any other thoughts? No, I think think you've... I don't, I don't mean I mean this in the best way possible. Like you covered it all like better than anybody the cheating. could have done. I, I apologize. The, my my vast oh, knowledge man. of Spike the Dragon. Dude, big dude, brain. That, big I'm glad brain. you're here for this episode. You have no idea. This is awesome. <laughs> oh yeah. This is awesome. Yeah, I nearly missed this one. Huh. Yeah, Crazy. nearly nearly. Yeah. It was meant the, to the, be. The, the, the cheating scene when Rar- when when um, yeah. Gabby walked in the on Rarity and Spike cheating, yeah. playing D and D. Okay, okay. So this show uh, that that's really a great point. This show has had a wonderful, wonderful job. It does a wonderful job at finding childish ways to explore meaningful topics. In all the times except for Make New Friends But Keep Discord. That literally bad episode doesn't make sense if they were friendship. I thought, I thought it was alright. No. It, it's Because That's Discord's okay. like, I'm how not. dare Fluttershy have other friends? And all of a sudden it's like, oh wait, the main six. I mean, I get that, but at the same time, I, I think it's best done with Discord because he has no concept. Like, he is an extra- it's it's hard to realize sometimes, but he's like an extra-dimensional being. Some concepts just don't even register as a thing. So of course he has to learn the baby lessons. Because he doesn't even understand well, them as a thing. Yeah, there was a bad example of a baby lesson. Uh, okay, we're not talking about that episode. But this ep- but yes, okay. In all the other episodes where they've had to do, like, adult things, they have, like, put the kid filter over it in a way that makes Makes it work. Yeah, Discord was the kid filter. Basically, yeah. yeah. Um, I know, I was all for it. Like, I I think back to other episodes, like, Tanks for the Memories, and um, what was the episode where Trixie nearly killed herself? No Second Prances. No Second Prances. Mm -hmm. That can go into topics... Uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, Mature? No, no, no. Not, it's the opposite of objective. Subjective, that's it. Subjectively. It's not confirmed. But they subjectively mm. talk about aspects of life, like the five stages of grief, like suicide in a video. Yeah. Or in a... In a, in a, in a kid's in an episode. show. In a kid's show. Yeah. Hell yeah. The fact that they managed to hit the notes of being jealous of, like, an ex... Or an ex being jealous of finding someone new, <laughs> and then being that toxic relationship, and then cheat like having a, a pretty much an analogy for cheating, right? Basically, and then having the ex sort of realize that look, this is incredibly toxic behavior. Yeah, and she goes out her way to fix it. That's a great message. Mm-hmm. Kids probably won't understand it till they're sixteen, but uh, ring rings home yeah. true. Yeah, uh, but you know, hey, on anybody Patrol. who started watching this show in season one when yeah. they were like eight, I mean, they're seventeen now. That n- oh god, don't do that to me. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, I'm that, sorry, no, that's not that. true. That's not true. I started. <laughs> no, okay. I mean that's Any, true for you guys. Anybody who watched season one when they were eight, that was nine years ago. 
<laughs> I came in super late. I started watching like season three, so I was trying to do the math in my head. So I like, no, no, I was like, oh, I was 13. <laughs> Shit. Uh, God damn uh, it. That's crazy. I, I want to hear stories about the people who started watching when they were eight mm-hmm. and they're still here now and they're hitting their 18th, 17th birthday. Yeah. I want to hear yeah. the stories from those guys. Yeah. If you've, been, wa- if you've been watching since season one. Yeah. And, and and you were, like, in the target age range. I felt like I've grown up with yeah. MLP, or at least spent my adolescent, you know, teenage years with MLP. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's changed my life. Yeah. I mean, I was, like... And it's I, all because of Spike. Yeah. Shit, I started watching in 2012, which was seven years ago. They, they I would have been 21. They brought back... I mean, what went wrong? Really? Anyway, sorry. <laughs> that, that was a failed joke. Just, just zoom, just zoom in on, on my face, like with, <laughs> with, with, with like Vietnam flashback shit in the in the background, like. <laughs> yeah, they brought back best side character from season six, Gabby. Gabby hasn't shown up since season six. Love Gabby. Odd choice, but I'm here for it. Has she not shown up since season six? She was in the background. She doesn't spoke. She was, right. she was in the CMC episode. Yeah, like, she, yeah, but they didn't have her actress. Yeah, no. She didn't speak. Hmm. I don't think we've actually heard from her since, you know, season six. Same with Gilda. Right? Gilda, like, when, they, when was Gilda redeemed? Back. That was like season four. That was season five. Season five. We need another Gilda. I, I swear to God, if we don't have another Gilda episode, I'm... Cause I, w- I don't think your hopes I'd, are very high on that I'd, 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 I just... I'm going to be... I'm going to be sad. Uh, I think she'll show up in the background, yeah, but I don't yeah. think she's going to have an episode. Yeah. Like, I mean, aside from Trixie, Gilda's my favorite background character. And Trixie's not even a background character anymore. Yeah, she's not a background. Yeah, yeah I, would, I, like, I, would, I would definitely call her background like Background or people who show up for like one or two episodes. Would you count yeah. Flim and Flam as background? I would definitely count Flim and Flam as background. But they're like in five different episodes. Oh. Easily. You got Cider Squeezy, Leap of Faith, uh, Vegas, University. That's four episodes. Yeah. That's... A, that, Hang on, how many episodes does Big Mac have? While they're thinking about that, uh, why don't you guys tell us when did you start Ponies? Because I started like four, three years ago, maybe? Four years ago? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. while well, they chit chat in the background, uh, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. The you know, it's the, the, the end of MLP. He has, he has and the one where he as they chit chat, down. they're still and talking. The recent one where, they're like, so cute. I'm actually glad that Ninja's here because, yeah. you know. So that's four. So Big Mac, kind of the same number of episodes as Flim and Flam. Going on uh, 36 Mac, hours of no sleep. More but. In the background, yeah, well, I mean, sure. I mean, okay, so how, do you, how do you count? Still talking. Like, okay, how do you count the like ogres and, first Ogres and Uvillettes episode? Like, is that a Big Mac episode or is that a Discord episode? No, because he was just there. Like, he was, But, like, he was such... He was a third of the cast. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna get a drink. <laughs> you're, right you're right. You're right that he was a third of the cast because it was only three of them. Yeah, well, it's pretty yeah. easy. So, like, okay, how do you count... How do you count episodes where... That okay. are, that are like, evenly split between more than one... I, I would say when Big Mac is the focus of the episode. Like, the cheer... Like, Big Mac is clearly a focus of the cheerly episode. Even though it, it, really? he shared it with it's, the CMC. It's the CMC. He shared it with yeah. the CMC. So does he have to have at least 50% of the episode? I wouldn't know. I wouldn't even say that. I'd say he has to be the focus of the episode. So he probably ha- had less episodes than Flim and Flam. Although then again, I wouldn't count the Flim and Flam episodes as they focus on Flim and Flam, except maybe the <sighs> Vegas one. Yeah, yeah. They're antagonists. Yeah, they're antagonists. They're, I mean, the Vegas one is the only one where they're protagonists, and that's an Applejack and Fluttershy episode. Yeah. We, yeah. It, we, so, you know, no, I'll, I'll, I'll go back on what I said. Yeah, they have, they have the same number of stuff. Yeah. Oh my god, that's, that's such a, that's such a, that's such a, a take. That's such hot a take. hot take. Uh, Applejack, hot. not a background pony. Big Mac, yes. <laughs> that's, that's. Oh, should I, should I say, yep. Yep. <laughs> Big, is Big that Mac a background pony? Terrible joke, I'm so yep. sorry. Yeah, yep. I'm, I'm ashamed. I mean, he's the one doing all the work. We saw it. We, uh, he did. We yeah. didn't record it. We didn't record it, but we watched the Applejack episode where yeah. they're looking for Slender Man or whatever. Unicorn we, yeah, bullshit. we caught up on we caught up on season nine yeah. before we recorded. And uh, man, Big Mac carries the L throughout that episode. He didn't get a single yeah. like thank you. Yeah, to I mean, me he got one, but to, it wasn't enough. Yeah. To me, that's as of right now the worst episode of season nine. Gosh. I like I don't I don't necessarily um, know like think it's the only like bad one or the worst by a lot. I just think it's the one that I like the least. You know what? I think I'm with you on that actually. Yeah, cuz there are other like, ones I hated that... I hated Scootaloo's mom and dad. But those, that yeah. was one part of a decent episode. 
Like, okay, to, to they sucked that, ass. To, to but me, it was that's, a good yeah. celebration of the CMC. It's a good celebration of the CMC, but at the same time, it's also like not the final CMC episode. That's true, which is weird. But yeah. we'll get to that. That felt like the final CMC episode, but we know it's not. Yeah. Yeah. Well. And I'm glad it's not, because that wasn't <laughs> very, very... Uh, okay. Use your words. That wasn't Use the, your it, wrong opinions. <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't very good, but Ooh. it felt final. It did feel final, yeah. I will tell you that. I mean, when I say it wasn't very good, the CMC, while they're fairly mature, they're still kids. When when mom and dad comes home and says, look, we are moving. I, I, I can't think of many kids that would go against what their parents say, especially mm-hmm. like when it comes to something as big as moving house. Not even moving house, but like moving country. country. Yeah. Most kids don't get a say in that. So the fact that she actually got to stay and live with her aunt and not go with her family. Yeah. That's a uh, that's big, that's big yeah that's big stuff. But she had like stuff going on, so it's like kind of like I mean yeah it was her job. We we don't we have no her idea how old job. anyone is. We don't know if it's unpaid. That's true. Actually, we 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 assume they do it out of the good of their hearts, but yeah, who knows? We don't know. Yeah, I mean, I lack of information. Yeah, on honestly, if the if the if the next CMC episode, if if they don't have like a lot about like. Well, <laughs> Sweetie my Bell problem is they called it the last crusade. Yeah, the last, the last. Well, That's that pretty was final. That was the one with it where the last crusade. Indiana Jones's father was in it. Yeah. Oh, really? Is that, is that the pun? I yeah. like it. Okay. Yeah. So Indiana Indiana Jones's father um, uh, was Sean Connery, and he was in the last crusade. So um, that was Sean Connery. That was, I guess, the idea. <laughs> <laughs> Sean Connery. Not, not, not. Uh, okay, so getting off topic. <laughs> I'd, lo- um, I'd, I'd love Sean Connery, Michael Caine, and Bane to be in a conversation. Sean Connery. What was I I'm completely lost my train of thought? Fuck. Um, 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 it was something about Scootaloo. Scootaloo got to stay in Ponyville. Yeah, and that's and that. that's like an epic win, especially for a kid. That's an epic gamer moment, right there. Yeah, um, and and that saves the episode, but it doesn't make the episode good. It doesn't make it enjoyable, no. Yeah, I, it's I it, it's like it's like saves the episode from being bad. It's sort of like with the trivia oh, episode. That was my joke. Uh, it's about I'll as final ahead. as the Final Fantasy franchise. Yes. It's like you guys don't know the meaning of the word final. Yes, if it's not the last one, Final Fantasy, 15, it's not guys. final. <laughs> This Jeez. week, this week's reaction brought anyway, to you by Final Fantasy Fifteen, Part Two. <laughs> uh, so that's about Going it. in an hour and five minutes. We're, we're about finished here. Uh, God bless you. I think this all. might be a, a second part, like a discussion only or something. Oh, was, that was oh a, no, that was this a lot isn't even the longest recording we've done. <laughs> no, that was a lot of, a lot of episodes to cover because this is a you know yeah. Yeah. This bike episode. Uh, we're gonna have to top up, get our, get some new drinks before the next recording. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we yeah. will. Catch you guys on the flip side. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Brush your veg and eat your teeth. <laughs> Floss your butt and all that stuff. Yes. <laughs> Later. <laughs> Bye. Donate to my patron. Oh, yeah, that. Yes. Donate, you fucks. Oh, anyway, or, 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 or just be nice. There. You know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, you too? <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. Here's the, here's the deal. If you're oh, a God. fuck, right. donate to British Ninja's Patreon. If you're, a, if you're a lovely individual, donate to my Patreon. If you're a rowdy, <laughs> real rowdies. <laughs> <laughs> join my Patreon. Cop killers? Sure, they join his Patreon. <laughs>